about immigration storytelling and art, we're really thinking about ways to look at immigration stories that are positive. One way that the Latinx psych specialty is redefining mental health is by providing training to psychology students on how to provide culturally responsive and linguistically responsive services to Latinx clients. So I think it's also a way to allow people that space to talk about these things and almost gives people permission to talk about psychology. And it's been a really great experience because I can't tell you how many times I've popped into a room and I've had patients who might be presenting with symptoms of depression but had no idea what depression was. The other thing, you know, we're holding this event in an art gallery tonight and looking at the ability of stories and art to be healing and also to bring community together. The Latinx psychology specialty was developed to train psychologists to be culturally and linguistically competent to work with the Latinx population. We have to find a way to meet our clients where they're at, our Latinx clients where they're at, um, as opposed to having them come to us, we go to them. And there's actually a culturally responsive Latinx modal modality which is called cuento therapy or storytelling therapy, and it's uh, a way that we integrate folk tales from the Latinx culture into the therapy for children and adolescents and also for adults. Involving myself in the Latinx specialty helped me feel like home and it gave me that connection that I needed to progress in this program and continue to find that resource of almost like self-care and mental health care for myself. I hope that people leave here today um, figuring out ways to listen to similarities in people's stories on immigration. biggest things that I learned in Chile was regarding some of the, I was surprised by how similar some of the conversations were to some of the ones that we have in the U.S. regarding immigration, regarding how to provide um, a second language um, services and education to students. I think the biggest thing I learned was um, just the difference between cultural, like cultural hospitality, like between um, Chileans and people in the States. I feel like there was more of this open air and like welcomeness, especially like outside of like academic settings and even in, like they were very hospitable, they fed us, they like made sure we were okay. And I think that that's something that we don't always have here and it's something that's taken for granted um, because this is like a cultural piece, this is how they like interact with everyone around them and it also resonates with my own culture. So it was nice to be in a place where it is a day-to-day -day thing. Um.